Oh, they're hungry. They're ready to be attacked. Yeah, so while these guys are going to be eating, we'll be measuring their weight and giving them another DE powdering. <laughs> oh, I get if I can get over. <laughs> they fight me now. It's brutal. Pig, pig, pig. Oh no, I gave them all the food. Oh. <laughs> Alright, whoa, 92. Yep. And 95. Like every time you measure us like this, we have to eat more food, it's the worst. Nice. Alright, 89. 89. <laughs> yeah, nice. You got it. All right, about 86. <laughs> 89 and 86. They actually don't mind it as much anymore, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> He's wagging his little tail. Yeah. Wow. What? New pigs. <laughs> you just sat down. He says no. <laughs> Feels intimate. <laughs> I've just noticed the pigs trying to make our lives hard. So we're gonna go check out what they've done. Uh, the pigs have been really easy, like no problem at all. But we have been having this issue where they keep knocking over their water. And usually the trick is with that is you just fill it full. And that kind of just uh, sorts it out, but this keeps happening. And today I've come in and realized that they've actually broken the fence. That is completely bent. Uh, we had some pretty gnarly wind recently. One thing we have noticed when they get to this size though, like they've always been a bit nippy. Like now they're actually physically biting, which is uh, interesting. But it's more of a curious bite, like it's a, it's a nip. You know, they're like, you know, you, like you can see them munching on this. Look at that. They're not hungry, they're being fed. They're gonna knock it down before I get a chance to scratch it, and strap it too. They um, get a lot of their water from the feed that we give them because we soak their food. After they eat, they're not really thirsty, they just start playing. We want to get them in a spot where they've got something to do because they're just about done digging in there. Alright, that's not going anywhere. Problem solved. When these guys have been moved, which I believe is tomorrow, they'll have heaps more to do because this is, this paddock's done for them. This garden bed, I should say, which is, oh man, look at this. Look at that. It's so good. It's just so soft. They just churned the whole thing up. Cheers, guys. Doing good work. Pigs actually don't have any sweat glands, so when it does warm up, you need to spray them down. That's why they have wallows, which are puddles, to help them with cooling down. So I was just prepping to uh, move the pigs and I noticed something really cool. There's actually a game trail that runs straight down there. I'm not sure if you guys can quite see it. It's kind of cool because it goes alongside where the fence was. So we may have put the pigs directly on like a wombat's trail and it's, it's bumped into the fence and it's like, ah. Oh. So it's just kind of rerouted itself around the enclosure. So that might mean we have a wombat going through our garden. Ugh. Oh, well, that's why we're building fences. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
look at this drama queen over exaggerating just because we haven't fed him yet. He's just simply starving, you guys. You starving are you, bud? Ha Katletka. Can't go on anymore. Or is this some kind of intimate massage? What's happening? Hey? Oh, now Tonkatsu's dying. Oh no, baby, they're starving to death. For those people who say owning pigs and moving them is super difficult, for those who think that moving a pig and putting a fence down means the pig will run away and you'll never see it again, we're proving you wrong today. That's no fence. Pigs allowed out. We've got all the time in the world. Might as well dance. <laughs> Let's see if we can get them with some food. Pig, pig, pig! Pig, pig, pig. Pig, pig, pig. I even have time to stop picking up the fence pig, pig, pig. to film. Come on, boys. There you go. Good job. Easy. These guys are just so cool. Slow and chill. I think it helps building a relationship with them. They couldn't care less. The pigs are just finishing off their food now and they're in. <laughs> so today guys, we're implementing some, whoa, some uh, permaculture principles. So problem, the pigs in their old paddock were running out of space. They'd uh, already overdone that spot because we're making a garden, so they need to be moved. This spot here, what I'm standing on is our um, uh, landlord's pile of wood, but all around it, you're getting all this growth, and that's the road right there. Like, who wants to come in here and clear this out by hand? So, solve the problem with a nice little pig. Two pigs, actually. So they're gonna come in here and they're just gonna rip this up. We'll get them out of here before they turn the soil so much that they encourage other things we don't want to come up like weeds and stuff like that and then uh move them on because like it's winter right now and you can see the state of this place like look at it it's already overgrown it's winter so we start heading into spring this is just going to take off so now's the time to get the pigs in here and get it sorted oh no he's trapped oh he's trapped And that's how you clear vines with pigs. <laughs> You're safe, Freya. He didn't come for you in the end. Look at all of this new garden space. I cannot wait to shape these gardens into what they're going to be next. Okay friends, let me talk you through how this garden's going to come together. We've decided that the front part of this garden that's cascading down the hill we're going to get our chickens onto there, the four big chooks, not the little ones that we just hatched out. And they're going to turn our already established compost as well as anything that's left in the pig pen. We're going to create a big pile of it here at the front, fence them off so they're not going to be free ranging through the whole yard the next couple of weeks. As they mix that into the soil that's here, they fluff it up and they finish it off for us so that this, this garden is ready to be planted in for early springtime. As for the garden at the back that we're going to build, that's going to be for the late spring and summertime crops. So things that are going to be doing a lot better during the heat of the summer, things like squash and corn, um, most likely my three sisters garden. So what we're going to set up is some pallet compost system up that way again, pile it up with some straw that we've had laying around. It's been damp and it's actually dried off again, but we're still going to compost that 
all of the pig manure that's down there um, and anything else that we have over the next few weeks, few months, we're going to start adding to that compost pile there so that when we are ready for that next garden to be finished off by the chickens, we'll then be able to move the fence over to that side and get the chickens working on that for us. So that's the plan for these two gardens here, which are hopefully going to be super productive. The whole point of this is as little effort as possible. So I'm barely even going to tie it up. Nice poo collecting, baby. Thank you. Yeah, they made themselves a wallow. Uh-oh. Boys. We've got to make sure we stay in the habit of not skipping lunches, so we're having a well-deserved break for some lunch, and this is what we're having. These hard workers, we haven't even put their coop down yet and they're already getting to work on the exact spot we want them to. So you can see they want to be here. Compost pile is all built and stacked and I'll be watering it and keeping an eye on it, making sure that it's breaking down. <laughs> I believe in you. Nice. <laughs> Preparation phase number two. And I'm going to do their fence tomorrow morning while they're still in their coop so that I'm not chasing around chickens and chasing them out of my garden. I can just set up the fence tomorrow. Easy peasy. These guys are loving having some shade to sit under. I think they're going to be laying here a lot the next few days. Pig, pig, pig. Another great day done and dusted. We'll see you guys next time.